First at five, Houston's boil water advisory has been lifted and not a moment too soon for the more than two million people affected. Fox 26's Domily Keith caught up with the mayor for an update and joins us live near downtown. Domily. Yeah, you know, so many people are asking, how is it possible a city as large as Houston could have two transformers malfunction leading to a major power failure, um, which also led to uh, extremely low emergency level, low water pressure, and then also a potential water crisis? Well, Mayor Turner says he also has those questions. As much as we rely heavily on equipment, uh, every now and then that equipment will fail. But that isn't stopping Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner from wanting an investigation into how a transformer at the East Water Purification Plant blew out Sunday morning and then so did its backup. But why they malfunctioned, I don't know. I have ordered a diagnostic assessment uh, to see exactly what happened and how can we mitigate it from happening in the future. The mayor points out Houston's population is growing and maintenance to the plant is likely needed. We need more uh, enhancements uh, on our infrastructure to sustain our growth. Houston's boil water advisory caused a number of surgeries to be rescheduled, including 15 colonoscopies within Harris Health System, and the possible water contamination shut down several school districts. When schools were closed, did that affect you? Yeah, because I'm working and I don't know how to leave my kids, but my sister and I helped me too. Was your son left scrambling trying to figure yes. out, oh my goodness. Yes, and they were very thankful that they have grandparents here in town. They're lucky, but there's lots of people that don't. Although the power failure made it possible for contaminants to make its way into uh, Houston's water supply, the mayor says all 29 samples that were sent to the state came back free of contaminants and bacteria. Reporting live near downtown Houston, I'm Domilee Keith, Fox 26 News.